So before we get started on today's video, there's something that I need to tweak with the world's largest bobsled coaster. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll get on to my realistic series in just a moment, but before we do that, there's one small change that I forgot to make with this. This is a roller coaster I built in my last episode. Can't intention to it. It was really, really cool. But uh, there's one thing I forgot to do, and that is to launch it a little bit faster. So if I go, I believe, to this uh, little station here, and I click the utility settings, I can exit it rather than at 9 miles per hour at 22 miles an hour. So that will mean it will launch it a little bit faster, which means we should get a bit of a faster speed. So I'm going to start the test here. I'm going to ride it and I'm going to keep an eye on the speed. And we should beat our all time record. 109. <laughs> 200. Ooh. No. I actually don't think we did go any faster. I think the maximum speed we saw there was 238, which was the same speed. So, interesting. All right, so we're here in the realistic series of <laughs> Planet Coaster where we have to think about money, have to think about park management. And uh, this park is looking actually really awesome let me know what you think of it down in the comment section but uh as you can see like look if i pause it here just look off in the distance it's actually so good this was an addition we did in our last episode and oh my goodness these are some brave people because it literally throws you off the edge and i think a lot of you in my last uh video comment section were saying you would not go on this you are smart people that is uh that's rather frightening uh, one thing I've also done <laughs> is finally open this ride. I think I've been testing for like a few episodes now, but uh, thankfully now it's open. So we should start to see customers and this guy, he knows what he wants to do. He's like, yes, there's only one way I'm going and that's on this ride. And I also want to add in our little viewing gallery so you can watch people do crazy things. There we go. And I think we'll probably go above. If I can. There you go. Lovely stuff. And I've just realized there's no supports for that. So we need to do that. But look. Yes, our first customer. Where is he sitting? Right on the end. Why would you sit there? Sit in the middle. You madman. He's like, I don't know. I'm just happy to be here. Oh, I love life. He's a pretty cool guy. Goodbye. So my plan for today is actually a pretty massive project. And with the $35,000 that I've got, I want to develop the first coaster in my park that actually inverts properly. Now, I've got a couple of rides that kind of get close. Um, like this one, for example, it kind of goes over the top. In fact, I think there was a coaster just on its way. Come on. Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. That doesn't invert. We've got another sort of coaster that doesn't invert. Uh, we've got this coaster, which kind of inverts, but not not a lot. Okay, that does kind of invert. Hmm. Okay, but it's not really a loop. I mean, it's kind of a loop. This will be the first real major looping coaster, and I'm very excited about it. And also, there is a lot of congestion on these stairs, so I want to see if I can help that in some way. So, what I'm going to do here is try and figure that out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, this is uh, a little pathway here to help, hopefully, help with the congestion that is uh, right here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So, if I can offer people a different route, I'm hoping this won't be as bad. So, there we go. Hey, hey. That's it. Everyone go in that direction. All right, cool. And you get to see that, which is kind of cool. I love that. And again, kind of a neat little route. Okay, so I want to add this in here, and I'm going to go from this end. And we're going to have a little viewing gallery of our uh, little launch coaster here, which I think will be pretty neat. I think a lot of people enjoy that. I certainly would. Oh, it needs to be taller. Okay. Okay. Damn it, back you go. There you go, sweet. So now you can, uh, if you want, walk along here and uh, observe what uh, nonsense is going on here. Oh, this would be cool. I kind of want to stand here and watch this. Go on, do it. All right, look at this. This is, 
<laughs> it's actually so cool. Ready? Oh, it's coming. Launch. Come on, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So let me show you the coaster I'm going to build. So it's actually called the Flawless or Werewolf, which is pretty neat. It's a flawless coaster, which means you don't put your feet on anything. You're just kind of strapped in into a seat. Uh, it can invert and it actually does uh, some really nice things. I think it's a nice looking coaster. Uh, so I'm going to put it, if I can, just on the very edge here. So along this. And this is going to be freaking sweet. So we're going to start off with a little incline. I say little, it's not little at all. Uh, we want the incline to go at 14 miles per hour because we want to go up as quickly as possible. And this is going to be our tallest coaster yet. I think, there we go, that will just about be as good as it needs to be. So when you come into the park, you should be able to see it. Let's have a little look. Yes, it's in the distance. Nice, that looks awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna have a short, quick turn. <laughs> That's gonna be great. There we go, oh no, maybe not that much. 90, we need some snapping on, here we go. I don't want it to be too crazy. So it's going to be vertical, but it's going to quickly then uh, kind of come out of that. Right, I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm going to test how we're looking here. So you see it goes down here, and then I've got like an invert, and then it kind of twists you out of it, and then you go round and down. So I'm a little bit concerned that this is going to be too much G-Force, so I just want to test and see how we're getting on here. So let's fast forward. Up you go. I swear I set that uh, faster. That seems pretty slow. That is as fast as it goes. All right. Fair enough. Okay, so here we go. So how fast are we going? 70, 80 miles an hour. Oh, yes. That's going to be way too much G-Force. That's a solid nine. The rest of it's fine. Oh. <laughs> okay. As always, I always uh, underestimate how much that's going to hurt. So let's uh, just delete that. There we go. And we'll try and make this a little bit a little bit better. So we'll just make it less of a thing. There we go. Up it goes. It does really take a long time. And those poles are really annoying. Whoa, whoa, whoa I missed it. What happened? Where are we? <laughs> Stop test. Restart. God, just launching coasters at people. Oh, jeez. Probably should be careful. <laughs> Come on, up higher. All right, here we go. So three G's there, five. Yeah, that's that is perfect. Okay, so now we want a, a pretty. Uh, there we go. So we're in. Is that the wrong way? I think it is. Wait, no, this way. And then we'll go around. Yeah, I did it the wrong way. God damn it. All right, so we... No. We want to turn that... It's hard to... Okay. I'm going... There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to go this way. There we go. I nailed it. Cool. Nailed it. <laughs> so we've ended up in the same place, which is great. That might be too close. So I'm going to just raise that up a little bit. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay, we need to delete this other track. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. All right, let's see a test. All right, down it goes. 87 miles an hour, 5 Gs, which is quite a lot, but not crazy. 4 Gs there. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This is quite a, uh, quite a dramatic coaster, but I'm happy with it so far. All right, so let's level that out nice and bubble. All right, let's see if this actually finishes. So it goes up there, little twist, round, down. Oh my God, this is actually a really cool coaster. I can't actually wait to ride it. All right, does it make it up to the top here? Oh, it actually does. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Okay, I'm actually super happy with that. <laughs> that works really well. So we're going to then twist it and we're going to make that as long as possible. Yeah, this ghost is actually turning out pretty nicely. Okay, so I've added in a mahoosive loop and this is actually starting to look really menacing. 
So let's keep an eye and see if it actually completes the loop. It should do. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Okay, so it goes up there, twists round, looking good. Long banked curve. I really like that. The invert over the track, back down. Got a loop here. Yep. Oh, that's six Gs. Okay, we might have to <laughs> make that a little bit bigger. Hang on. So, let's try and do that if I can. Yeah, six Gs is a bit too much. Like, five is where I kind of cut cut myself off, like, in terms of, like, how crazy of a loop we're going to do. All right, so <laughs> I finished off the build. Uh, I wanted to take some time to... Uh, finish it off properly and kind of do some calculations and stuff and I think I think I'm happy with it I actually haven't tested it to get like a excitement fear and stuff rating uh, but just to give you the little tour so we've got a block station which is one thing because it's quite a long ride so that's one thing we need to take note of and I'll add in another coaster when we get to that point uh, but it goes up here beautiful the highest park uh, coaster in our park Wow, actually, technically, no. So it's actually not the tallest. Huh. All right, second tallest. <laughs> and third tallest if you count the one that's already on the mountain, but I don't know if you can count that. Anyway, so you go down here. Woof, we're going to sort out all of this for scenery and stuff, by the way. Don't you worry about that. Up round here, twist over, bank curve round. Woo -hoo -hoo. Then we've got a loop round. Uh, we've got a little break here just to slow you down so you get to hang upside down just for that little bit longer. Twist round, down, another loop. My god, this coaster is pretty intense. Up round, twist round here, down towards the water, under there. Quick invert, although it's going to be really slow. And then round, breaks, block section, back to the beginning. So. I'm hoping, I think the record here, I've done a bit of research, and the max G-Force is the Gold Reef City Park, is in the Gulf Reef City Park, sorry, and that has a G-Force of 6.3, and the second one is Six Flags Over Texas, 5.5 uh, is Thought Park, so, okay, good to know, so around 6, like I said, is my limit, I said that earlier, um, I don't know what this is going to come in at, I hope it's less than 6, it should be, well, let's give it a test drive. So let's uh, have a look here at the results and see how we get on. All right. Start test. That would be good. But let me know what you think of this down in the comment section. I really need a name for it. I have absolutely no idea what to call it, but I'm really happy with how it looks. I just really hope the results come back all green and uh, less than 6G. So <laughs> let's see how we get on. This is going to be awesome. Oh! I'm excited and we'll do the like scenery and stuff for another episode the scenery will actually add to the excitement as well so if we get a green rating more than five point something then you know we can add probably make it to like a seven so fingers crossed so we're going up the hill here this is uh this is good <laughs> always nerve-wracking going up the chain lift on a coaster it's pretty cool you see all that i'm actually kind of nervous Okay, alright, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh. I like that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Whoa. Yeah, this is nice and smooth. Wow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Liking this, liking this. This is slower than I thought it would be. All right. 60 miles an hour, though. Oh, just about made it over the edge there. And then back to the start. Okay, so there's some areas that I can smooth it out if it's not perfect. But that was pretty cool. Let's see the ratings. Okay, so the ratings are... Oh, 6.2, 4.3, and a 1.6. Okay, let's see the results. Maximum G-Force, 5.7. Respectable. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.